So here I am again with a second part of our video on Hebrew a hype eats. I can't even say that word. I hype hype hype. Right? So hey, here we are. What we're gonna do? Be doing in this segment. We're gonna be uh, making the dough. You remember then the first? Well, in part one, what did we do? We made a filling. We made it from scratch curry paste, and then um, well sauce. We didn't really make it into a paste, we made a sauce. And then we made some mashed potatoes, and then what we did with those mashed potatoes, we um, actually, so we actually added that potato, or that sauce, to this mashed potatoes, right? So this is gonna be a filling. Later on we could also add some peas to it, or some chickpeas. And um, now here we're gonna make the dough, we have, Flour. All we need to do is make a hole in the center of this flour. I mean, you could always use a machine, that like one I have over here, to make it. Or, if you're old fashioned like me, then yeah, you just go for the, you know, all manual. So, this is um, a pound of flour. Here I have um, a tablespoon, two tablespoons, two teaspoons, I'm sorry salt and I also have some ghee right haters would say this is just um clarified butter hey you know what I say? I say it's ghee 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 not just clarified butter okay alrighty so let's let's start let's start to make this dough yeah and um let's see if we can actually get some of these pieces off before the sun goes down because it's actually Shabbat here. All right. So, here we go. I have my water here. I have my flour. And here I have my ghee. Okay. So, with this ghee, I'm just going to use two tablespoons. I mean, you don't have to it doesn't really need it but I want I want to have my dough a little bit more refined so I'm gonna use it right you could also use a little bit of leavening agent if you want um, it to you know be a little bit more flaky you could use a little bit of baking powder you could use just like a, uh, a level teaspoon of baking powder um, but today weren't using any of that okay we're going as old-fashioned as fast as possible so that was my ghee and listen what I did with my ghee to actually add some value and flavor I added some 100% cold pressed coconut oil yeah so it's like a half and half half butter half coconut oil and I mean we could do this with coconut oil just the same yeah uh, for those of you who don't want to use any animal products at all, then just go for the coconut oil, okay? All right, so let's do this. Get mm -hmm. some water in, in the middle. And for this, we don't need a lot of water. What? We have a pound of flour. We just need like a... Mm, how much? Uh, 100, 120 milliliters water, that's it. So what we tell them, none of them can cook like we, no, 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 no. But singing thing is not mine at all. Anybody ask, tell them I said so.
So this is our dough, right? We're gonna be covering this dough with plastic so that um, it, it uh, relaxes, that's very important. Okay, so it's very important. I mean, this is our dough, right? It's quite ready right now. So I'm gonna be wrapping it up in some plastic like so. I mean, if you have plastic bags, you could just put it in a nice um, poly bag. And yeah, there it is. Right? So we're, we're not going to pull this out until we're ready to actually roll the dough. And this we can leave either outside or in a cool place in the refrigerator to sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Right. Let me tell you something, a really important fact about uh, making doughs, right? Um, a lot of people will say, you know what, give me some other specialized flour because um, white bleach flour is dangerous um, for my system. Hey, people say the same about white rice and Asians feed on white rice every day, right? People say these things, these things about um, white flour, well, Jamaicans, I grew up eating dumplings, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a Jamaican's favorite thing, yeah? Um, I'll tell you what's affecting people when it comes on to flour, right? It's lack of properly processing the flour, right? You gotta knead this thing properly. You gotta allow it to relax. You gotta knead again, right? That's a proper process for for processing a dough. If you don't do this, when you eat this flour, it's gonna feel uneasy on your stomach, right? It's gonna be hard to digest. So in order for you to digest this thing properly, you really got to process it properly. It's the same with breads or any pastry at all, right? You shouldn't be tasting like raw grains, right? You shouldn't be feeling colic, colicky after um, eating um, any dough at all or any flour product. That means that the product hasn't been properly processed. You understand what I'm saying, right? So that's what's affecting people more than anything else. Um, and, and, and what else? Mm, yeah, so when you knead this thing, it's gonna be really tight. That's the gluten. You understand? There's a protein inside of the flour called gluten. That gluten has developed. So as the, the gluten develops, the tighter it gets, right? So that's the reason why you gotta relax this dough so that it releases, right? So that you can roll it with no problem at all and it will just work out good for you, right? Just gotta know how to handle your ingredients and then they will be good, right? So, but hey, don't get me wrong. If you can eat grains, any grain at all in its natural form, it's way better than having it like too processed, okay? So, mm, let's put this in the refrigerator and then we will be back, all righty? Yeah. Okay, you know something? This video is already too long, so I'm gonna be making a part three. So, in part three, we will be rolling this dough all together and filling it with our um, curry filling, curry potato filling that we just made, okay? So, until then, see you next time. I love you. Uh, please subscribe to the Hebrew Hype Eats because there's a lot of good things that will be coming, you understand? This, the information that you're gonna be getting in this video, in, the, in my videos, are um, medical information I'm not a doctor I mean I work with naturalists for years I have actually um, uh, studied in um, um, some of the top culinary um, schools but uh, you know what I've even taught culinary but you know what life and experiences actually brought me back to what reality is you understand um, if you want to eat healthy you can't forget your roots. You can't forget where you're coming from, right? And I mean, in my videos, I'll be going through these things, right? Why you're supposed to stick to a certain kind of food in your land. Why you're supposed to observe the um, different seasons and eat within your seasons. You understand? And then, you know what? You'll be happy. You'll be healthy. And you'll be complete. Because it ain't no fun working so hard in this place and then giving all your money to the doctors you ain't got to do that right eating eat rest and exercise these three things are very important and 
there's no science really behind it or complicated science behind it it's just basic common sense right so hey please subscribe to my videos and tell your friends and we'll walk in my videos I'll be walking you through the easy simple steps how to make the best meals right better than what you can get in any restaurant outside that you can make it at home for yourself alrighty until then this is Hebrew Hype Eats or Hebrew Hype TV see you Mwah.